This is a short video on the configuration and operation of iCatcher Go. iCatcher Go is a iPhone application available from the iTunes App Store that allows you to view IP cameras and cameras attached to iCatcher console CCTV systems to start the application up and running. This application has just been downloaded, so there are no cameras or consoles yet configured on the system. So to start off, I'll configure a camera. To do this, I'll select Edit from the main end menu and Add Camera. In this case, I'm going to add a YCAM camera. So the first step is to select the manufacturer from the list. We have quite a wide range of uh, supported devices and more are being added all the time. After selecting manufacturer you need to select model and then the type of stream you wish to connect to. In this case motion JPEG. The next step is to name your camera. This is the identifier used in the main menu and add the IP address for the camera. In this case 10 1 4 29. Next stage is to add a username and password if your camera is configured with one. And there we are done. Go back done and now we're back at the main menu and this time you see now we have a listing for YCAM I'll just tap that and there we are very quickly we have an image from the YCAM the iPhone can be rotated and the image will occupy the maximum screen area if you wish to save a snapshot from your camera to your iPhone photo gallery you can just by pressing the snapshot button. I'll go back to the main menu and now we'll add an iCatcher console as well. Select edit, add console and again the address of the iCatcher console. This is our main office demo console. And now that should be all we need to add. Done. And now we have two men menu items on the main menu, YCAM and console. So I'll click on console. And there's a list of cameras from the iCatcher machine. I'll select a camera to view. And there we have a view from the camera. Select another camera, quick look in the car park, quick look in the driveway. As you can see it's very very quick to operate. Back to the main menu. The settings available are image quality which controls the quality of the displayed image and the bandwidth in use. So we're using IPEG which is a very efficient uh, low bandwidth protocol. You can also turn sound effects on and off, the frame rate display on and off and the aspect ratio as well. There's also a session timeout if you're using iCatcher Go on a phone network maybe um, you're roaming abroad and you want to view your cameras at home it's quite wise to uh, set a session timeout there just so that you don't uh, incur excessive charges when you're data roaming this is iCatcher Go if you want more functionality have a look at iCatcher Pro thank you